Earth, the only livable planet among the eight planets in our solar system. It makes our planet so special. But is it truly unique outside the solar system? Are there any similar planets? And how numerous are they? In this video, you'll find out how many stars and planets there are in the Milky Way and how to calculate this number. You'll learn about the conditions needed to sustain life, how it can exist on seemingly unlivable planets, and finally, how many potentially habitable planets are there. Let's find out. To estimate how many planets are in the Milky Way, we first need to know the number of stars. Unfortunately, due to the positioning of the Milky Way galaxy in the shape of a barred spiral disk, astronomers cannot observe all of the stars directly. Instead, they rely on the calculations of our galaxy's mass. Based on this calculation, scientists estimate that the Milky Way has between 100 and 400 billion stars. The next trick question is how we calculate the number of planets based on the number of stars. It should be mentioned that these calculations are pretty speculative. Although we live in an eight-planet system, this type of multiplanetary system is quite rare. Statistically speaking, most of the stars have one or two planets that orbit them. Some of the stars have none. And then there is also a type of planet called nomad, rogue, or free-floating planet. These are the planets that have been forced out of their planetary system during its earliest development stages. That is, when the system was gravitationally chaotic. These planets don't orbit the star, but rather the galaxy's center. Lastly, there are also stellar systems that have no planets in them, but rather smaller stars orbiting a bigger star. All of these facts determine the star-to-planet ratio in our galaxy. Based on this, scientists estimate that it harbors about the same number of planets, from 100 to 400 billion planets. But what makes a planet potentially habitable? First of all, let's get our terminology straight. Astronomers define potentially habitable planets as those located at such a distance from the star that would allow them to have liquid water. Of course, even though water is the main predeterminer of the existence of life, there are other requirements. Just like here on Earth, in order for complex life to evolve, a planet needs to be protected from space radiation by its atmosphere and magnetic field, as well as to have the right chemical ingredients conducive to life. Now, when thinking about chemicals that can be potentially used as blocks for living organisms, the first element that comes to mind is carbon, because it's what life here on Earth is based on. Although this is a predominant theory, there exist alternative ideas about potential silicone-based or germanium-based life. After all, other planets can host life so unimaginatively different from ours. To find life, astronomers look for gases emitted into the atmosphere that are detectable, like oxygen, methane, or carbon dioxide. However, it's not that simple, because even if one finds an oxygen-rich atmosphere on an Earth-like planet orbiting a distant star in the habitable zone, it doesn't mean that the planet is teeming with biological life. A water-rich planet that receives a lot of infrared radiation could have the water molecules split, producing oxygen molecules in the atmosphere. At the same time, astronomers don't discard planets that seemingly have very harsh conditions as definitely unlivable. Even rogue planets scattered across the universe without their home star can potentially host life. Before they were ejected from their star system, these planets could have possibly had oceans of water or atmospheres capable of sustaining life. Once they are ejected from their star system, these planets could still host life even if their respective stars never shine. If these planets have a sustainable atmosphere, they still might harbor life forms under the icy surface, which have warmed up from radioactive decay inside the planet itself. So how many planets in our Milky Way galaxy can potentially host life? This is a very debatable question and numbers range from very high to very low across studies. High estimates are typically based on studies that only take into account the presence of liquid water on the planet. 
According to a research team from the University of Copenhagen, water is present in many planets as a part of their building blocks. This data was extrapolated from studies on how Earth, Venus, and Mars were formed. Their theory of planet formation is called pebble accretion. According to it, planets are formed by steadily accreting pebbles flying around the young planet during its earliest stages of development. Many of the pebbles happen to be made from carbon and water, which creates good conditions for the emergence of life. However, water can be dispersed very unevenly. Some planets can be too dry to host life, others can be flooded with it. Nonetheless, the research team does not give a specific number of potentially habitable planets, just stating that the chances of coming across a livable planet are very high. A more precise study published by Kunimoto and Matthews in February 2020 suggests there are 6 billion or so Earth-like planets in the Milky Way. By the term Earth-like, the researchers mean rocky planets roughly the same size as Earth orbiting a Sun-like star. According to their calculation, the upper limit of the number of Earth-like planets per Sun-like or G-type stars is 0.18. This means that only 18% of G-stars have an Earth-like planet orbiting them. Considering that those stars constitute 7% of all stars in the Milky Way, and there are 400 billion stars, scientists have come up with a number of 6 billion. As for the other types of stars, the researchers haven't looked at them as closely. For example, they consider M-type stars to be too cold for life to emerge unless the planet is orbiting very close to a star. Stars around half the temperature of our Sun cannot sustain Earth-like complex biosphere because they do not provide enough energy in the correct wavelength range. At the same time, Stars that are bigger and more powerful than the Sun can, in theory, power more photosynthesis. But these stars don't exist for long enough for complex life to evolve. That said, with the proper distance from any type of star, a rocky planet can potentially host life. It's just that it needs a number of other conditions conducive to life as well. A study done by NASA in October 2020 posits that there are only 300 million planets in our Milky Way galaxy that can be considered potentially habitable. The number is significantly lower than the previous studies because astronomers looked specifically at stars which emitted about the same amount of radiation as our Sun. The study was based on Kepler Space Telescope findings which detected planets close to the size and temperature of the Earth. Some scientists go as far to posit the existence of over-inhabitable planets. That is, planets that have even better conditions for hosting life than Earth. According to a study by geologist Dirk scholz mckuch and astronomers René Heller and Edward Guinan, astronomers have identified 24 possible over-inhabitable worlds. What's promising is that one of these 24 planets stands out in particular and meets all of the criteria that scientists use to determine what makes a planet viable. However, all positive predictions aside, it is important to note that the planet can be habitable but lifeless because the origin of life never happened. This could be because the environmental requirements for the origin of life are much stricter than for the continuity of life, the study says. The most recent research on extraterrestrial life looks at whether the planetary conditions are suitable for photosynthesis to occur. Unfortunately, the numbers are getting lower. A new study from July 2021 revealed that almost none of the known exoplanets have the right conditions needed to sustain life as we know it. This study put strong constraints on the parameter space for complex life, so unfortunately, it appears that Earth-like conditions on other planets may be much less common than we might hope, said lead author Professor Giovanni Cavone at the University of Naples. However, there's no need to be pessimistic about the potential existence of life out there. One should keep in mind that planets can host life even under the surface, regardless of their conditions. For example, in caves, which would provide the temperature humidity, and radiation protection needed to sustain life.
And what's most important, we already know places on Mars where it's possible to go under the surface. Scientists have found some round entrances to vertical caves situated on the Martian shield volcano Arzia Mons. They are pretty large, about 100 meters in diameter. Such places are called sinkholes on Earth, and they are teeming with life. However, it's still unclear how we can send a machine there and get all the necessary data. And well, who knows what is in the depths of these caves? If you take this into account, it can significantly increase the number of potentially livable planets. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video.